Before I really get going on a mix, I want to really clean up the edit window. And so I can focus on being creative with a mix as a whole piece, rather than feeling like we're still correcting things. Doing this makes it a lot easier to notice visually any standout issues or random pieces of audio that we don't want in our mix. We're going to look at reducing bleed from other audio clips, tidying up overly loud moments, and then consolidating our audio, whilst keeping our original audio in hidden places. So first up, let's take a look at how we clean up both of these voiceover tracks so we don't hear the other person speaking at the same time or any background noise at the same time. There's two ways to go about this. We can either open up our mix window and add a gate as an insert, or we can actually clean it up at the source. If we clean it up at the source, then yes, it can take a little bit longer, but it's definitely a lot cleaner. And we know for a fact that we're not going to get any of those additional unwanted sounds from each of the individual channels. So what I'm going to do here is zoom into each of the tracks so we can see where all the unwanted audio is coming through. Obviously, the really strong peaks is where people are talking. But as you can see, there's occasional moments where there's a few noises in the background. That could be coughs, that could be movement, that could be dogs in the background, that could be anything. So what we want to do is go straight to the beginning of our audio. As you can see, the clip itself has been cut at the beginning of the next part of the dialogue. But let's select using Apple 4 and Apple M to mute that audio. So that's been grayed out from the start. So nothing's going to come through on that channel. And again here, let's try on the next track. As you can see, the cut actually isn't here. So let's hold down shift and click Apple E to cut and Apple M to mute. Zoom in again, Apple E to cut, shift click until the end, Apple E to cut, Apple M to mute. And that just makes sure that no unwanted audio comes through at all, regardless of how we have our gate set. So from there, let's check our crossfades and make sure that we've got no digital clicks or clips where we've made the cuts. Let's listen to this part here. They come up with those big... And that's fine. But just in case, we'll zoom in and press F to fade. Zoom back out. As another example, let's find another part. Responsibility it is, but it's... And you hear the click there. Let's just zoom out a little bit more. And we'll play that again one more time. Responsibility it is, but it's... So there's a clip there because the cut hasn't been made at the natural point in the waveform. So if we zoom in, select F, Zoom back out and press play from here. Irresponsibility it is, but it's just super fun. And that click's gone now. Okay, so let's assume that all of our fades have been made and we're happy with how the audio is playing from each of the tracks. What we can do from here is start to focus on automating our audio volume. Obviously in the mix, we can compress and really start to level things out. But sometimes we'll find where things are too quiet or too loud. So let's go to a section where things look a little bit quieter, like here, for example. This is clearly a louder part, but here's a little bit quieter. What we can do on the clip gain track, as you can see this horizontal line that goes through the track, if we press Apple 7, start our smart tool, we can lift the gain of the entire clip up by dragging up and dragging down. But what if we want to be a little bit more specific? Well, if we press Apple 4, this brings the hand tool, which means we can start to add in automation points. And from here, we can drag up, drag up again. Or if we say, for example, this is still a little bit too loud, let's pull that one down. And let's play it back. And who innovators are today. So the first thing is to really think. And that just helps to bring that today up in line with everything else. And who innovators are today. So the first thing is to really think carefully about how to learn from. And that's still a bit loud. So let's pull that down. And of course, then we can go through all our content and make sure we're happy with the overall volume throughout. One thing to note is that when we affect the clip gain, this affects how much audio is going into the inserts on the channel itself, not post fader. So let's assume that we're really happy with our audio. We've gone through and we've muted the bits we don't want to hear. We've, we've added automation to the parts that we know that we want to tidy things up from a volume perspective. Now let's make sure that we're ready for a nice, easy mix. Now what I'd like to do from here is consolidate my audio so it's nice and clean. And you can do that by selecting all of the audio that you want to consolidate into one clip instead of having millions of different clips. Hit Shift, Alt, 3, and that renders each of those clips into one clip per channel, nice and clean. And you can actually see a lot clearer here where we've had some audio come through. But the issue with consolidating is that it's not easy then to go back and make the changes that we wanted. So this is where playlisting comes in really handy. Playlisting is a great feature on Pro Tools, which allows us to have various different alternative takes and copies of the audio. So let's undo what we've just done. And now that we've got both of these channels selected as a group, we click on waveform and select playlists. And it opens up a new window under each track. So now let's grab all of the audio that we want to drag into a, an additional playlist. And we'll hit Apple 4 to grab that. And then if we click Alt and click and drag, that creates a direct copy underneath. Then we can hide the playlist, select as before, 
Shift, Alt, 3, and Conform. And that just means that if we have to go back in and when we've gone through our edits and we mix and we hear some mistakes or we want to make a change, if we ever need to drag that back up, we open up the playlist, we select the part that we want. This time we'll hit Shift, select what we need, and pull up to the main playlist. We'll close the playlist, and here we can go in and make the changes again, rather than being stuck with a consolidated playlist. Let's say that we want to send VoiceOver 1 out to an external standalone application, but we don't want to mix down. We just want to export the unmixed audio as a clip. So we'll make sure we have the clip that we want selected, and we'll hit Apple Shift K, and that allows the export window, not mix down, but an export window. We select our format, we select where we want to take it, and we export that. And then let's say we're going to drag that in. And we'll put that into our clip list. And then as we know for a fact that the starting port is exactly the same, and you can also see the waveform displays are lining up exactly with the original clip. And we'll drop that in. And before we get into a full mix, I like to just have a quick play with the mix of the dialogue specifically. So I'll open up the mix window, do what we need to do here, work out some levels with our channel faders here, and then I'll add in our mix bus, which we'll get into a little bit later. I want to make sure from the start that our overall volume is hitting the levels that we need it to. So let's just play the audio here. And perhaps even the next generation. Of course, Lego is very relevant to every kid in the same way that... And I use Ulean loudness meter, as you can see, which is a really great tool at giving us an idea of how loud everything's coming through. I'll set up the podcast preset, play that audio and check that everything's averaging around 16. Even the next generation, of course, Lego is very relevant to every... So it's all a little bit quiet. So assuming that I've gone through and done what I need to do, I'll turn that audio up a little bit. Even the next generation, of course, Lego is very relevant to every kid in the same way that it has been for many years, but kids also... So a little bit better. Obviously, we'll go into that a little bit more detail later in the class, but just a heads up to now to give us a little bit of a helping hand when it comes to gain staging our mix.